It's the Westinghouse 50 inch by 60 inch uh, throw. Um, I've got the tan color. Uh, I'll show you the settings, but right here it says it's got six heat settings uh, it, to, between two and 10 hour time settings, which is nice. Um, even heat distribution. We'll go through the rest here. So, uh, first of all, this is what it looks like. It is uh, pretty plush. It's pretty thick, pretty plush, about as, um, as, as thick as I would expect. Actually, it, it, it could have been thinner, and it's, it's not, so that's nice. Um, so as far as the, it plugs in in one corner. Sometimes they plug in in the middle, and it's a little awkward in the middle at the bottom. So it's in the bottom corner, which is nice. Um, one thing I like to know is how close to the sides do the heating elements go? So you can see here, this is the side of the throw. So the heating element is right here. So it's about nine, I'm trying to get this in view here. Sorry about that. Okay. So the heating element is about nine inches from the side. So that's a little bit of wasted space. I would have liked it to go a little closer, to be honest. And then uh, on the bottom here, uh, a little closer. So the heating element is right here and it's about six inches. So uh, six inches from the side and nine inches uh, from what I presume is the bottom because it has the tag. So, um, and then as far as the controller goes, uh, the cord seems pretty long. I'll measure it in, uh, I'll put the, uh, uh, the length of the cord in the, uh, I'm not sure if it says on here. I don't see it. I'll measure the cord and put it in the review. So here's the uh, settings. You've got power on and off. Right now it's been on six for a while, so I could see how uh, warm it gets. It gets really warm. So uh, as warm as I would expect on high. So here's your heat settings. You've got low, two, three, four, five, six. And then you start back over at low again. And as far as time settings, let me zoom in. So it's a little crisper on, well, no, I guess it, I guess the video shows it pretty accurately. Okay, so you have two hours, four hours, eight hours, and ten hours. I really like that because I often go to sleep and, you know, sit and watch TV or something for a while before I go to sleep. And then if I want it to stay on all night, then I want it, you know, that might be a good nine hours. So I love that uh, it has a ten hour setting. That's awesome. So I'm really impressed with this. Uh, it, the only thing which could be better is the heating elements could go closer to the sides and the bottom. But to be honest, I've never seen one that really does go much further. So, um, so this is pretty typical. I would I expect. So I hope that helps. Um, let me just measure the cord while I'm at it here. So the distance from the, the plug where it plugs into the blanket to the controller is 32 inches. So that can be a little frustrating if, the, if, the, if you've got this plugged in towards your feet and you've only got 30, 32 inches between that and the controller, you'd have to be reaching down quite a bit. So I guess you'd have to plan accordingly and have it plugged in, you know, to the side or something. But that's a little awkward, to be honest. I, I wish they would give you more cord in between the uh, where it plugs into the blanket and the controller. And then from the controller to... The actual plug is six feet. 
six feet. So all in all, you've got uh, six, seven, eight, almost nine feet if you count the controller in there too. It's it's nine feet. But I think the critical part is where it plugs into the blanket to the controller because you have to reach for it. So I wish that was a bit longer. But otherwise, I'm impressed with this. It gets very warm. I love the 10-hour setting. And I like that you have six heat settings, not just like the typical three or so. Addition here, where it plugs in, um, I'm used to controllers often coming a little bit loose. And then you often get an error signal on here because the there's not you've lost the connection down here. So this has, if you can see it, it plugs in and it snaps in. So it doesn't come loose. That's pretty cool. Um, it is not too easy to get it unplugged. To be honest, if you have dexterity issues, that could be an issue, getting this unplugged, because that was a little difficult. But the fact that it snaps in so it can't pull apart, I love that. Hope that helps. So today is February 10th, and I've been wanting to do a review on this Westinghouse heated blanket. I believe I purchased it on December 9th. Uh, of 2020 so I really don't do reviews but I really wanted to do one on this one just because I've really enjoyed this blanket and I've been wanting to get it out there because it is such a great blanket um, it's a throw and like I said it is heated the one that I ordered is in gray and as you can see it looks plush the fabric is wonderful, very soft and cozy, and it has it on both sides. Uh, very, very luxurious feeling against your skin. If you're sitting on the couch in the evening or any time, reading a book, watching TV, uh, watching a movie on a chilly night, it's wonderful. Um, just so soft. And it's not bulky, it's not heavy. Uh, the cording, uh, you can feel the cords in the blanket, but they're not heavy cords, which is nice. Comes with a controller, and it just hooks up to the blanket very easily. And this is the controller here, and we'll turn it on. It has an on and off switch, and it has six heat settings uh, that you can put to your liking and we will put it on low so you can see so it's on low here and as I've said you can turn it to the highest heat setting if that's what you prefer I like it on three or four it's pretty toasty on three or four uh, which is really a nice uh, feature the other thing that I like is that it has a four hour cutoff so it does uh, shut off after four hours of continual use. Even though it does that, you still want to take uh, the controller, turn it off, unplug it for safety purposes from wherever you have it plugged. Uh, it does say that it's machine washable. Uh, I have not washed mine yet, but it seems like the fabric uh, is very durable and that it would hold up. It's got heavy stitching all the way. You can see it around. Uh, so it seems like it's a very durable blanket. I believe that it would fit over most people as far as if they were looking for like a blanket to curl up or cuddle in. Um, a tall person, it would probably reach maybe right underneath their chest. Uh, but definitely enough blanket um, to stay warm with. Uh, on a chilly night, or if you're just looking to have something to feel cozy uh, wrapped around you. So like I said, it's a, it's been a great blanket. I've really enjoyed it. I'd give it five stars. I think Westinghouse has outdone themselves with this particular blanket. I personally have not been able to find anything on the market with this type of fabric uh, on both sides where you know it's soft against your skin on this side and then this side uh, as well um, to keep it nice and plush so again I don't typically do reviews but I really wanted to do a review to get this blanket out there so that way people can see that they'd really enjoy this purchase 
I know I have, and so go out and buy you one. Uh, it's a Westinghouse heated blanket, and you will enjoy it.